Hey everybody, Jim here, and today I was in Hockey Harbor of all places, go figure, I'm pretty much there all the time, uh, but today I decided we would go for a little walk, and I would show you to sort of a little hidden, not even a game shop, but more of like a game stall that's here in Akiba, which I had not even thought to go to until uh, actually uh, I was hanging out with Destiny here and it was a place that she wanted to go to and we were trying to find it on Google Maps and it was just like where the hell is it so as you can see uh, we're walking past the big uh, Club Sega number one and we're coming right over here to this Tokyo radio department store which is known for having lots of um, little stalls that sell little uh, components of things, bits and pieces for computers and phones and other stuff like that. Various little electronic bits and bobs, but right here we got this little Serial Freaks um, shop, if you will. Uh, like I said, it's almost more of a stall, but uh, as you can see, and this really surprised me, they have all of these North American SNES games. We're looking at Art of Fighting and Tasmania and stuff like that. And uh, I've been told a lot of this stuff has been here forever. And, and go figure. I mean, they have multiple copies of Batman Returns. Um, but they also have like some Looney Tunes and uh, they also have multiple copies of Tasmania, like Lawnmower Man and stuff. So, like, they didn't really have anything like. Uh, terribly interesting or at least not on that little shelf right there this is this is cool this is kind of like a um it's one of the what is it the turbo express i forget what it's called uh this this thing here uh with the super dodgeball and there's a nomad there hooked up um so some pretty cool stuff in these cases um things to uh use alongside your uh consoles and handhelds and such and um yeah, little bins here, so like nothing out of the ordinary here, uh, except for all these North American games that they've they've got on offer. Uh, so as we're looking at, uh, I don't know, it, it was just it's a strange little shop because there's all this stuff in here that I'm like, well, who cares? It's like all the most like common like junk bin stuff, and then just out of nowhere, there's NES and SNES games. Um, so I guess if you were in Akiba and you actually want to pick up maybe something for your NES or, or uh, Super NES, um, some kind of, uh, I don't know, just all kinds of, there was lots of stuff in here I didn't recognize, like these little, they're like little boards or something, I guess for, I don't know, maybe doing something, making your own carts, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, or replacing old boards, um, but we've got some loose Super Famicom carts here again. Uh, nothing spectacular. A little uh, something, something, something for you. But then NES games. We got Pac-Man, Monopoly, uh, Robo Warrior, uh, Desert Commander, Dick Tracy. So um, you know, birthday blowout. It's like the AVGN lineup. Um, so like nothing uh, terribly uh, impressive here. But um, yeah, this is it's weird to come across so many. Uh, NES games uh, all in one place North American stuff in general this we got a um, little arcade cabin here that is not operational right now but it was the last time we were here although the time limit on Street Fighter was set to like one second and then they have a case with uh, some cool stuff in it Lunar and uh, Final Fight CD Outrun Sky Kid uh, some stuff running back there that little transparent thing whatever it is that's running Fatal Fury Special uh, that's pretty cool. It's like a transparent display, like screen. I don't know. Uh, but there's some cool little things in here. Like I said, this radio department store is mostly known for having um, like little things that you can buy to piece together your own. Uh, they got you know Clay Lancer and Ultra Core. That's pretty cool. More uh, more NES games. Um, but it, yeah, it's mostly known for having stuff that you can buy to piece together your own um, PCs or, or uh, make little LED displays and uh, things like that. Some Mega Drive stuff. Cool, cool. Ease on the uh, Master System, some Disk System. 
more NES games. We got Metroid and what have you. So we're just looking at some cool stuff here. Um, but yeah, I get the feeling that uh, this would be more of a place to go to uh, if you're more interested in, um, I guess, I don't know, some of the stuff like uh, cart repair or making homebrew things or stuff like that. Because it seems like they have uh, plenty of stuff targeted at that kind of audience. Uh, if that's your thing. Cool Glade Lancer poster. And Ultra Core. A game I'm loving right now. Two games recently released on the Mega Drive. Well, Glade Lancer, was, it's a reproduction. Good old uh, NES Zappers here. Very cool again. A little bit of PC Engine and other stuff for you. Some more Mega Drive games. And uh, it's like Rhythm Land thing here, which I recently picked up a copy of Rhythm Land. It's a cool, simple little game to have fun with. We got some loose Super Famicom, Parodius, gotta love it. Uh, so yeah, just some some cool things in here. Uh, you know, worth perusing if you're a, uh, yeah, serial freaks. If you're gonna be in town, you wanna check it out, um, pop in, because it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It was uh, fun just to see some NES games. I know that's not like a big deal for uh, most people, but uh, I don't I don't ever really see NES or SNES games, um, or at least not very much. So uh, yeah, pretty 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 good. As you can see, yeah, little stalls here with all kinds of other stuff in it. But um, yeah, just drop by I guess even if you don't want to buy any games, but you're interested in maybe some of the other stuff they have in there. I mean, there's all kinds of little stalls for whatever you're interested in, electronics-wise. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Uh, you can pop in there while you're doing your game hunting and see what they got. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.